I received this mobile phone today from a mobile phone technician so he already worked on the phone and the phone is not switching on there is no life to the phone he tried working on it but did not succeed and we will be working on this mobile phone today to revive it this technician is my follower on YouTube and I was very happy to see him because he was like okay man where do you live i was like okay i live in this area he was like wow man i have no idea that yeah yeah we live in the same area so he he, he brought some couple of phones to me that are not switching on so we'll be working on those phones one by one but th these are phones that he has worked on it already so i removed the battery of the phone set my multimeter to buzzer mode buzzer and dial mode as you can see right there because we have to test the battery connectors and check the resistance of the motherboard here we have our probes to, to test if I join you will see that you are going to get a beep right so I have to put them on the, the, the metal in the mobile piece is it metal okay and I test the positives positive you see that I am getting a beep we are performing a cold testing the red probe was in the ground and I used the black probe to test the terminal so I also did a forward and reverse testing and you see that both of the pins are beeping so from here I know that there is a shortage in a mobile PCB yeah there is a shortage and the, and the guy told me that okay there is a shot he tried to remove the shot but did not succeed so I already knew that so I was just testing so that you will know exactly how the shorting is and how you can test and how uh, what you should expect from your multimeter in case the PCB is shorting so I went on remove the, the, the PCB doing everything slowly here we have the PCB right here okay so I had to take my PCB holder connect the hold the, the mobile PCB so that we can work stably on the mobile PCB so I had to take my multimeter again then test the components one by one like capacitors you understand so I went on to test the, the battery connector again you see a shot in the V but I test the capacitors around so you can see that these ones are not shorting that's not shorting that's not shorting that's not shorting as well and that's a short there that's a shorting capacitor i went on to the to the network section signal amplifier section i went on to that section because i see that the guy already worked there there were some capacitors there in which the guy already sold that all that stuff i checked you can see the some capacitors around the power ic are also shorting so from here i had to to yeah i know that i have to do some dig work dig work on the mobile pcb because a lot of capacitors are shorting and i cannot just go on then yeah to a, a specific section so we, we, i continued the, the troubleshooting and now i had to use my uh, 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 powder yeah powder smoke powder yeah <laughs> I had to use this because yeah we have to spray it on the mobile PCB then use our DC power supply to do the stuff so just watch how I'm doing everything right here we just quickly spray this on the mobile PCB then we see how everything goes okay okay this is where my DC power supply comes in you can use a short killer right here the reason why i'm using my dc power supply is because it has an integrated short killer so i place the the positive to the positive terminal and the black to the gnd so if you check the, the network section at the top you can see that there is a one capacitor they're melting off i don't know if you you see that but i'm going to spray it then so that you will take a, a close look again so let's quickly spray the mobile PCB again. It ain't not in the Gita, baby. Okay, that should be okay. That should be okay. 
okay great uh, i'm going to zoom in a little bit so that you can actually see what's happening in that particular section and when i'm connecting the the, the dc power supply to the mobile pcb you can also check the current row of the dc power supply uh, that's very abnormal that's a shot so i'm preparing my probes right here we have the the, the v bot and we are going to the gnd to connect so you see how quick that is you see what's happening right there you see that smoke there right so yeah, it shows that okay that component is the main shutting component yeah because it's the main shutting component doesn't mean that okay if you remove it everything will start being okay but we just had to try remove it then see see how everything goes okay so i'm removing the component right now using my soldering iron i can easily remove it using my my workstation but in some cases i just yeah prefer my soldering iron just do everything yeah, like that just like that i just pulled out the, the capacitor and uh, the, the, what you want you need to understand what you need to understand right here is that you don't really have to put the capacitor back for the phone to function if in case that capacitor is the main uh, shorting that is causing the phone to fall short it's a capacitor right there it's connected in a parallel you understand parallel so it can actually work when you remove it but i don't recommend you to pull out just pull out capacitors don't don't replace them they put it there because they know what uh, it's doing it's helping in in filtering the the voltage getting into the ic it helps a lot with the voltage getting into the ic so we just clean the mobile pcb i haven't replaced it but i recommend you you always try to replace it. you understand so just clean the, the, the mobile pcb just like that then yeah test again to see if everything seems okay i use my multimeter again in buzzer mode as you can see i place the red probe to the gnd then use the black probe and if you take a look you will see that that's a normal reading we don't have a shot anymore the reading is okay I had to mount back the PCB into the phone, then connect the, the connector that needs to be connected, and I had to put everything back together. So yeah, we can see, test and see how everything is. So if you want my professional or basic level course, you can send me a message on WhatsApp for more information. Let's on this device and see if yeah everything be good right here we successfully solved the problem so right now let's wait to see if the device is going to boot up yeah because it might switch on then we'll still have some problems while waiting uh, you, yeah you can send me a message on whatsapp to get my professional level course in which you are going to study everything study every circuit and how to troubleshoot using schematic diagrams how to use the dc power supply and everything, you see right here, everything be good. So